This week's theme is peas, and we're going to be doing peas in mint cream. And we have a special guest, Kathy Irway, who has a blog called Not Eating Out in New York. She also has a book, The Art of Eating In. And she also is the host of a radio show on Heritage Network, which is called Let's Eat In. And so we're going to cook together today. And the first thing we're going to do we're gonna is infuse some cream. Yes. <laughs> and so, so this recipe is by Poor, Poor Girl Gourmet. And so Kathy is pouring the um, cream into a pan with um here I'll show you a close up. <laughs> with with whole mint sprigs. Yes. And the cool thing about this is that most like peas with mint, they sort of add the mint later, right? And this one it sort of infuses the cream so you get this like double mint. Yes. Quality. Just oh, like the gum commercial. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so actually you wanna you wanna put it on medium low. And slowly bring the cream up to a scald. And then or just stick it on high. Yeah, or stick it on high. <laughs> we all like to get things get things done. <laughs> um, and once it scalds, you actually really want to make sure you watch it so it doesn't boil. Yeah. You just want to watch for little bubbles around the, the edges. And then you turn it off and let it infuse for about 30 minutes. You like scalding? I do, yeah. I do this with ice cream all the time. Oh, really? So, oh. Yeah, with some mint or vanilla or something like that, and and then you scald it and then you let it steep. Oh. Usually that's cover cool. it. I don't know why. And do you like peas and mint? I have done actually a pea and mint. I actually did one with like a, a mint infused butter. Oh, like oh nice. Yeah, I don't know. Like a clarified butter with mint and just kind of peas. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Salt. Yeah. Fantastic. Good peas. Okay. Don't eat much. Yeah. All right. So we're going to let it steep away and we'll be back. All right. We're back and our cream has been in mint using. Yes, <laughs> steeped. So we're going to take the mint out, and because it's in sprigs, it's actually very easy to just lift right out. Smell? Mm. You can smell it. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, that's a nice great. fresh smell. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, All right. so, Kathy, you want to take over the, the cooking? Okay. Yeah, we'll turn on the heat, and just, um, it's the oil first. Oh. Olive oil. Yeah, some olive oil. And then we add the shallots again. Okay. So today we're using frozen peas. We are which uh, Poor Girl Gourmet says that she also uses. You could use fresh, so if you use fresh though, you should adjust the cooking time, so like give them all a little bit more time. The frozen peas cook in like, no time, time, at all. time at all. And you guys yeah. just thawed these? We just yeah. thawed them um, in the fridge yeah. overnight. What if you had them frozen? You would want to defrost them first. Okay. Um, I mean, you could probably use them frozen, but yeah. again, the cooking time would be a little bit longer. Yeah. And I think, I don't know, it seems like they probably work a little bit better defrosted. Yeah, because the cooking would be more even. The frozen peas are nothing to sniff at. I mean, no. these days you can really get great frozen peas. Yeah. So. Do you want to do the peas and I'll do the cream? Sure. Yeah. Let me just dump them in here. Here we go. And it's 16 ounces to a pound of peas. Yeah. One bag, right? Yeah. And then a large bag. Yeah. And then you put the cream at the same time. Yeah. And then you just want to give them a stir. And Annie, the olive oil and the cream are separate in the beginning, but do not fear, they will emulsify. Yeah. There's a magic moment. So are you um, growing peas? I am. I'm growing food, food on, yes. on top of the Six Point Craft Brewery. In Red yeah. yeah, on a rooftop. Yeah. yeah. Um, we are growing snap peas. We're growing a bunch of like pole beans, um, but I don't think we got English like, you know, garden Fuzzy peas. peas. <laughs> no, no. So it, are you able to talk about your next book? Or? Well, that's hopefully going to be it, <laughs> yeah. or something something based on you know cooking food as well as growing it, mm -hmm. um, taking it one step further. I think uh, not eating, eating out or buying uh, food. <laughs> <laughs> we can add. Call it. Yeah. yeah. Call it. Yeah. All right. Like Turn off the heat. No. It's, it just thickened a little bit. You can yeah. see. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. You know what? Maybe we can do just for a uh, close up. Is um, I'll hold this up. So Excellent. We can get a little bit of a sense see of how it looks. thickness. And then our infusion mint. Gives it just a little oomph. That looks pretty. Any type of mint that you have? And, or just it's spearmint. Mint. Spearmint. Yeah, which okay. I think a lot of people, you know, it's the, the, basic. It's, the, it's the basic mint, which I think some people actually assume it's peppermint, but it's actually not. It's spearmint. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be really good with peppermint. Yeah, it would be good with yeah. peppermint. So shall we taste? Yeah, I think we should. It looks delicious. You cooked it perfectly, Kathy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, dig in. Okay. Mm. Nice and creamy. Mm. Done. 
And that meant really. You can really chase the mint and mm -hmm. the cream. Mm -hmm. I want a lamb chop. Yeah. 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 That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. All those peas popping perfectly. Oh, it's delicious. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with your garden. We're very excited. Yes. We want to come visit.